We are William and Mary Shea, the parents of Corporal Timothy Shea, who was an Army Ranger killed in Iraq in August of 2005. I served in the U.S. Army for six years as a Korean linguist. Army National Guard. I'm also a member of the Veterans Alliance. I'm a Marine. I, my father was a Marine, and I have two sons, San Franciscans, who were Marines. I served in the U.S. Navy from 1999 to 2003. I am a veteran of the United States Army. I served in the U.S. Army and U.S. Navy, and I'm proud of my service. I'm a United States Navy CB veteran. I was in the United States Army. I'm a veteran of the United States Army Infantry. I think the attitude that uh, San Francisco is an unfriendly place to veterans is, is undeserved. This is my son Mike, and this memorial will mean a lot to me because of him serving in Iraq. It signifies the effort of our achievement during the war. To me, it means that we're honoring the people who have fought for our like freedom. It, it would tell me that San Francisco appreciates our efforts. In the midst of life is remembering, and I think this memorial will do it. And, and it will honor our war veterans for their service to their country. This is a place where all veterans can come and feel honored. We are standing on the shoulders of giants. This is a part of us. This is a part of our country. This is a part of what we stand for. It's one step closer to our city becoming the most veteran-friendly city in America. It would be the fitting thing, you know, to remember the, the, uh, the, the soldiers who sacrificed for, for the cause, you know. Today, we begin the work to build a memorial to honor the heroism, valor, and sacrifice of our armed services. The San Francisco Veterans Memorial Project is a 75-year-old promise that has yet to be kept. We're here to commit to keeping this promise and delivering a long overdue tribute, acknowledging the sacrifice of our men and women in uniform. In 1920s San Francisco, a campaign for a Veterans Hall and War Memorial was being championed by the posts of the newly formed American Legion and Veterans of Foreign Wars. Many posts and thousands of veterans were meeting in halls and homes around San Francisco, sharing experience, remembering their fallen comrades, and creating community. At the same time, the symphony, opera, and arts organizations were looking for a permanent home. Like veterans groups, they were nomads, moving from venue to venue throughout the burgeoning city, staging performances or exhibitions in various theaters and galleries. Another movement was growing to build a permanent home for the arts. The two movements found a common cause in a grand proposal. Build a complex where artists and veterans could gather. A permanent home for arts organizations to reflect on our nation's experience and a permanent home for future generations to learn and remember what freedom and peace had cost. This proposal became the War Memorial Complex. The final design chosen was for twin buildings, equal in scale, to be separated by a courtyard. The architects were Arthur Brown Jr. and G. Landsberg. The courtyard adjoining the two buildings was designed by California landscape architect Thomas Church and is known as Memorial Court. Completed in 1936, Church's original design intended a memorial to our nation's veterans in the inlaid octagonal area. Over time, soil from battlefields where Americans fought during World War I, World War II, and Vietnam was interred within this court, consecrating the ground. Financial challenges and apathy compounded each missed opportunity to complete Memorial Court and to fulfill this promise to our nation's veterans. Throughout history, civilizations have paid tribute to the brave men and women who defend them and to those who put themselves in harm's way to protect the way of life. From the sands of the Zulu nation, to the marble of our nation's capital, to cities and communities throughout our nation, lasting tributes, forged in gratitude, stand and reminded us all of the fragility of life and the integrity, honor, and duty for which so many have made the ultimate sacrifice.
Today, as our sons and daughters, our mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and friends fight a new war, we gaze again upon Memorial Court, sitting idly, waiting still for its memorial. We look at ground consecrated with battlefield soils and remind ourselves of the sacrifices made in the past and the sacrifices being made today. The San Francisco Veterans Memorial Project proposes to fulfill the 75-year promise to our nation's military veterans by building a memorial equal to the sacrifice of service, a memorial to honor not just today's veterans, but the generations of veterans who served for us in the past and the generations who will stand up and serve our nation in the future. We have the people, the ability, and the opportunity to accomplish what others had intended. Together, we can keep San Francisco's promise. Please help keep the promise. 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 Go in and tell that memorial is a reality. Help keep the promise.